Hi, Cindy O'Meara here from Changing Habits. So what we're going to talk about in this next video is the immune system and how food impacts the immune system. Of course, lifestyle does too. We'll talk about that later. But let's, let's just look at food. It's interesting. This morning I was talking to a young man. He was 27 years of age. He knew I was a nutritionist and he asked me about the milk he was drinking. His girlfriend said to me, he's always sick. He always has colds. He has this, he has that. When I delved deeper into what he was eating, wheat bix, so this is a refined extruded grain with fake vitamins and minerals in it. He was eating protein powders that I saw flavors and colors and all that to it. So he was a, a strong strapping young man, but he was always sick. And we can put that down to not his lifestyle because he was exercising, he was out in the sun, he was out in the surf, but to the foods that he's consuming. When we consume foods that are void of nutrition, our body doesn't have the ingredients in order, number one, to make energy. So we need minerals and we need vitamins and we need macronutrients. So macronutrients are amino acids or proteins, carbohydrates and fats. When we eat good quality ones, the body has the innate intelligence, the ability to take those foods and create energy. That energy then allows us to be healthy, to not only perform everything that's happening in the body and all the biochemical reactions that produce our skin, our hair, our muscles, um, how our mind thinks and how everything works. If those are there, we can be healthy and full of energy. If we don't have those nutrients, our body will either take them from stores and do what it can do and leave you with no energy, no immune system, no resistance to, or no, no resilience, I should say, to what is happening in your world. So healthy foods filled with vitamins and minerals and healthy foods are not necessarily somebody who said, this is a health food. Healthy foods are the foods of our evolutionary past fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, grains, meats, fish, chicken, eggs, spices, herbs. I don't think I've missed anything there. These are the basics of what we have eaten for thousands and thousands of years. And these have the nutrients, as long as agricultural practices are, are good, they're even better. So even eating, even going from an ultra processed diet into a diet that um, is those foods, just getting it from the supermarket will take you one step closer to incredible health and a strong immune system. Going that step further where we're seeking where we buy our fruits and vegetables and our meats and things like that from say our grower, our local grower or our local butcher, it takes us another step. So when we take it step by step and we look at how we can do this, we can make incredible changes in the body. I've seen bodies who have no energy, have not been well eating an ultra processed food, people changing their diet step by step and it creating a surge in energy and a change in lifestyle. As quick as three weeks I've seen it and, in, and even as quick as 24 hours to 48 hours. When we take away those ultra processed foods and those, those foods that are in packages and are not giving us the nutrients we need, we will find the health and well-being that we need in order to fight any virus, bacteria, um, as well as have resilience both physically and mentally. Now, if you'd like to know more information or hear more of these videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Changing Habits HQ. I'd also like you to ask me some questions because that could be in the next video I do for you. So happy Changing Habits for now, and I'll see you in the next video.